What's up guys, it's Shrek, and this is the Nerf Mega Twin Shock, and I am really excited for this blaster because I think that it's sweet. The Rough Cut is an awesome, awesome blaster, and this is a just mega supersized version of that. So, on the back it's saying that there are blasts three ways. You can blast one dart, two darts, or slam fire. Really, slam fire is just an extension of that two dart blasting mode, but you can do single fire if you only pull the trigger gently. You can stagger your shots as it is. This thing is in fact monstrous. I have quite the wingspan and it's almost as long as one of my arms. It is seriously, seriously huge. Now, it says on the back, strike with a powerful pump action blasting to unleash two darts at once. It has a vertical foregrip at a very slight angle, but not quite an AFG. Let's get right into the package. It is an open style packaging, so even though you guys can see the back here, there's really nothing to it but to do it. So let's go ahead and pop this out. Now, I did switch to a lav mic, and I'm hoping that that makes a difference for you guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoy this perspective on the video. And if you do enjoy this perspective on the video, what do you think of the audio? Because it's uh, something that I'm tweaking, and I just actually snagged the lav mic while pulling this out. So it's not without a price, and we will switch to POV for some of the firing demo, but I thought that this kind of full body would... Uh, would be a fun change of pace for this review. So, Blaster comes with 10 Mega Darts, and it is of note that Mega Darts are incredibly expensive, and there aren't a lot of great replacements for them. So, as opposed to like regular Elites and even Rival Balls, where we have super alternative knockoffs, Mega Darts are pretty tricky, and the genuine ones tend to work the best. So, expensive to feed this Blaster, and kind of a pity that something that costs a reasonable amount like a Twin Shock is going to only come with enough darts to load at once. Now that does open up the possibility for a double your darts package in the future, but very, very cool. So these darts are pretty snug and they kind of tesser down that's necessary for the way that the Smart AR system is built. Blaster is of course very comfortable. I mentioned that in my initial review at Toy Fair. Like it is large. I do wish that it had a stock, but I understand why it doesn't because it's already so large already. But <laughs> Oh man, remove before using. So I just tried to prime it and there's this whole like funky cardboard sleeve inside. That's really funny that, why is this? Okay, there we go. Uh, really only removes one way. You've got to pull back to front. Um, anyway, so priming all the way back, that's a long stroke, probably about six inches or so. And then all the way forward, you do need relatively long arms. This is not for small nerfers. Like, I don't know if this one has an age range on the box. It says eight and up. I think that that's very reasonable. If you handed it to your average uh, small, small child, like I do not think that, that Zoe of the SE and C would be able to properly wield this on account of A, it's half her size, and B, uh, it's just a long stroke and not easy to articulate. But for those larger or fully grown Nerf warriors, um, this is solid. So a little bit bigger than a rough cut, getting pretty standard mega performance, which. Uh, is to say that some of those shots are getting elite distance, but with high caliber darts, somebody will undoubtedly rebarrel this in short time to fire elites, but it's pretty sweet. Some things are in fact better in POV, so let's switch it over and take a few shots in that. Now that we're in patent pending DRAC vision, you can see that the deco on one side is nowhere near as nice as the deco on the other side. This side is painted white and black, and this side only has the twin shock logo painted in and then all of the warning labels are kind of gross but looks really good on its label to camera side i suppose it's got a great forward facing out of the box look to it definitely screams mega like a thunderbow that got drug out almost like it was photoshopped into this sort of uh, scenario but up at the top we do have some tactical rails only two and they are traditional in strike tactical rails now i think that that's fine i think that back here or up here uh you could put either optics or ideally i would want a side saddle some Thing to hold mega darts on so that I could constantly top off this front because 10 shots is not a lot for a primary and this thing is so large that it can't really be anything else but firing you guys can see now what I meant by staggering your shots and then of course you can actually fire and the spread is actually pretty generous there those darts are landing anywhere from 15 feet apart to uh, I mean down to a much tighter group but that is single shots and in single shots I feel like you get more control over that and of course slam firing is going to be much worse but 
The darts go where they will. They are mega darts, so they do tend to catch the air and then pick the path that they want to travel. But the ranges are significant. Angled shots uh, can get right at around 90 feet, which is pretty impressive. And then the flat shots are, as I said, getting right around that that 50 to 60 margin. But mega power, uh, decent spring prime here, but not the end of the world because it does have so much travel. All in all, I like this blaster. I think that if you are a mega guy if that is to say that you are really really into the high caliber nerf ammo this is a solid option the thunderbow is still my personal favorite and the roto fury is basically just a single shot version of this but with very similar capacities and performance i think that this is actually better than the roto fury just because you do have the ability to fire uh two darts per every shot so whereas the roto fury you only get one per stroke this is slightly more efficient in that regard and that you can fire one two and then also slam fire off as quickly so it's really just an easier to empty roto fury that's got a little bit of a different uh control system to it but i like it a whole bunch i think that i can easily recommend this one if you'd like to pick up one of your very own i will put a link to where you can purchase it in the description box below they will probably not be on amazon quite yet but i will install the amazon link for now and then when they do show up they will show up but uh thank you guys very much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed much love nerf on drac out